Hello, everyone viewing, which is John. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> um, I might take the VOD and just put the raw, like, eventually put the raw thing on YouTube or something. On Freelance. Oh, sure. Um, if, if, if you say anything nasty, then I might not. <laughs> I'll just mute you. Um, <laughs> dude. No. Nasty. Nasty Hobbits. Um, oh, that'd be, I would love to rewatch Austin Powers, man. Today, the Ents go to war. Only thing I want you not to do, John, is do not call the FBI on me or something like that. <laughs> Don't dox me. I live in rural cities, okay? Don't dox me. That's so funny. This whole friendship was all, uh, <laughs> was all for me to be able to swap yeah. you. Yeah, a five-year ruse to get me swatted. <laughs> okay. Look, this literally feels like a cassette tape. Um, hold on, your stream has a network error. Oh, really? Is it, is it like fully stuffed? Let's stop. No, we're good. Okay, yeah, I see you. Yo, it looks like a cassette. Um, what's this? Can you give something in comparison for like what it looks like size-wise? Is it a lot, looks a lot smaller than a regular booster box, first of all. This is a uh, American standard tissue box with some calming flowers. <laughs> wow. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I thought that was, bro, I thought that was Amon Cat. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Royale. 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 I was like, oh, Amon Cat This is a, yeah, this is the special, this is the special convention edition Royale mystery box. Um, That's so funny. Every single card is made by leftists. <laughs> Every single card is made by leftists. Every one. <laughs> but we still enjoy the game. Um, yeah, so it feels legit. It's a bit thick, thicker than a VHS from the Olympics, age 13 plus. They haven't had a set like this before. Yeah, it's really random. Um, I don't know if you ever... Did you ever see those random scribbled, like, test cards? Test cards? Yeah, like Magic released like these scribbled test cards. Did you ever see them? No. Yeah, so they released these in conventions to like, it's like kind of, it's meant to simulate a chaos draft. Have you ever done a chaos draft? Is chaos draft those ones where the, those, the cards are all wacky and stuff? Uh, no, that's like an un, that's like an undraft. That's like with the silver border, but good, good one. Um, that's when chaos draft is when you have like boosters from wherever, like it could be whenever, like core 20, a Averson restored, Ravnica, like from wherever it's like, there's, there's not necessarily a synergy. There's not necessarily a synergy except for maybe the language on the text, the mechanics. So that's what this would be. A draft with this would be a chaos draft. Yeah. Cause it's just from random sets, but with some synergies and the value, the general value of the cards have gone down a lot, but they're still pretty good. I'm happy. I'm. I'm just excited to open this, dude. This will be like reminiscmus. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's make some. Okay. Let's start off. Um, make a. Um, what is the card that you want to see? Yeah. So we can make a call. You're right. That's a good idea, guys. This is my first stream of anything. That's a lie. I've done five minute streams, but um. Uh. You know what? ASMR legitimately, people opening packs would get some people listening to it. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe it's a riff. I would have like opened it so like gently and stuff. What was the intended way to open it? I don't know, dude. This was like not a VHS. <laughs> <laughs> no, the slit's <laughs> funny. It's like, you know, it's like a fancy dress. You know, it's like showing a little bit of calf muscle, you know? Because <laughs> yeah, it's modesty. It's like, ooh. It's like it's not showing any skin, but it's like detailed. It's like, wow, that's that's a sexy box. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> yeah. So how many, how many packs? 24. So less, like a Masters. Okay, can you do something before I go keep on going with this? Yep. Um, could you share this to the chat if any of the lads are up? The um, yep. it, it Resolves chat? Yep. Can. Bro, I was pretty happy with naming that chat It Resolves. 
it resolves. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. I, I don't... Uh, Can you share the link to the stream? Just to... Uh, like... Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, thanks, okay. man. They probably won't watch. It's like... Probably nobody will watch. Nobody will watch it. Okay. Cards I want, John. And if I get it, it's like, you know, I don't believe in manifesting things randomly. Okay? Like, I, I, I don't believe in... I don't believe in the secret. But, um... I don't believe in the secret. But, um... You know, providence... <laughs> providence sometimes applies to... Providence sometimes like is supplied to the moral person. You know? <laughs> the, the moral man may lose his crops to tyranny, but may open a mana crypt. Okay, these are packs. These are the cards I would love, because they're just wonderful. Send triplets, mana crypt, um, any of the Theros gods. Um, Teferi's protection would be wonderful. Do you know that card? Teferi's protection. Yes, I do. That's in that's in the mystery booster. Yeah, right? it's like it's the only reprint they have, right? Because it came out in a commander set that was like really underprinted. Yeah. yeah. Bloodlust. That pure bloodlust. Yeah. Good deck. Very good deck. Illegal in 1v1 commander. So. Um, anyway, let's go for it. I can't really remember the other stuff, but let's just let's just go through this. Let's just do it. Bro, I just gotta say, your, your, cam, your mic sounds really nice on the, on the stream. On the stream or on our chat on Facebook? On, on the stream, yeah. Oh, well, that's really good because my face is right next to my phone. Dude, here we're up with my first insecurity. I'm not as fast at opening packs as freaking Rudy. <laughs> that guy, like... <laughs> you know, like, you know John Wick? You know how John Wick can take down an enemy very quickly? Yeah. Dude, like, bloody, um, Rudy's like the John Wick of pack slaying. <laughs> oh, Soul. Bro, Soul, what are that? Soul Caster? Soul, Soul Mender. Dude, these cards feel yeah. really nice. Really nice printing. Knight of Skyward Eye. I'm not going to go too much through the. Oh, dude, the order might be weird. Okay, this one's from. There's some kind okay. of hom homunculus. Bruh. I'll probably recognize the good cards. I remember this cards from Amonkhet. Cycling. That's a theme in um, Ikoria. Draw two cards for four or cycle. Which is kind of like... <laughs> wow, this is actually all right. Is it instant? Yeah, dude. People play... A pay one to draw one card in... Um, in standard sometimes. I can't remember the card name, but... <laughs> Far well Oh, pay one drop. Like for an instant, like in standard, I, I, there was a mono blue deck that played like without the draw two cards clause if you have the mana. Okay, Farbog Revenant, Scarab Feast, also cycling. Oh man, I've opened so much Kaladesh. I'm not happy. Kaladesh. Are you that still... was a, I really like that, the art of it. Yeah, it was like some weird Indian paradise, like City of Two Hills vibe. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't the the typical. They could have easily just done steampunk, you know, but they didn't. They created a, mm. a very good world. That was like, yeah, that was very unique. Dude, I've got a bunch of Amon kit in this pack. That seems strange. Oh, so see this. This is the difference, John. You'll eventually see. I know there's a delay, but there's like a a planeswalker symbol. Is the image relatively oh, clear? Yeah. Is the image relatively clear? Uh, yeah, it is. Cool. I, I, in, in Saskatchewan, I've been trying to get a bigger upload speed, but I'm still at like one megabyte. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, you went from Australia to Saskatchewan. The yeah, dude. Bad dude, and it's still copper wires to this house. So I can up it to, listen to this, 2.5 megs upload speed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For 20 bucks more a month. <laughs> okay. For twenty bucks more about Yeah. So okay. Fun. So far, I've seen cards from really recent sets. M nineteen, like these cards are probably slightly better than average commons and uncommons. You know. I, oh, yeah. I think each pack has a old frame card, like a non modern frame card. I think that's from memory. Oh. Okay. See, this is sweet. This is like a law win. I think this is actually one of the better cards. Um, like five bucks or something like that. 
um, Guilt Leaf Palace, rare. A Guilt Leaf Palace comes into play. You may reveal an elf card from your hand. If you don't, it enters, doesn't into tapped. Okay, that's good. Lorwyn is. Lorwyn has so many sleeper good cards. Okay, meandering, another rare. So two rares, and they're not foils. So this must be the old school rare. Um, anyway, Meandering Tower Shell, Island Walk. That's always good in Commander, right? Island Walk, nice. Yeah, that's my... I sent you my... Uh, what, my uh, what's it called? My setup is right now. Oh, sweet, sweet. I'll look on my computer. Dude, how pretty is this? How pretty is this um, foil? That is really nice. Yeah, the color is really nice. Uh, oh, nice, I dude. Wish the foils are like Pokemon TCG gets foils right. They do foils really well. Hundred percent. Dude, honestly, not terrible. Like this pack definitely feels better than what I'm used to in standard sets. Yeah, I like the color. I, li I like the colors in the background of the of that rider. Yeah. Have you seen that video I posted of... Okay, so that's pack one. I really like that pack. That was really cool. I, I didn't think the cards, the commons weren't very nostalgic. Like, not old, but very cool. I'm going to put the, the land aside. I'm going to, like, show some of the, I think, the better picks. Mm -hmm. um, dude, um, thanks so much for doing this. This makes card opening, like, I don't know, more of a moment, you know? Less of a... Like, still consumption. Still base... Ridiculous consumption. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so now all we have to do is wait for Mr. Beast to come on the stream. <laughs> 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 and he, like, tries to donate $10,000 and, like, I don't have him, like, um, I'm not a uh, partner because I'm, this is the first stream or something. <laughs> Lotus Eye Mystics. Retreat to Ameria. Um, Jeskai Sage. Frost uh, Links. Yeah. Oh, that's, from, uh, that's just from the... Um, C20. Core 20, right? Yeah, these are very recent battle bonds. But this is battle bond. But, dude, this was, a, this was so good and limited when we played against each other. What does it do when it's back to attack target? Oh, okay. Got yeah. It. I think Murder's, like, a great card. <laughs> is instant. What's oh, yeah, Murder, mean? they made it common. That was the big change they did in M20. Because he can play it in Pauper now. Yeah, Murder is a must-have in so many black decks. Murderous Rider is. Grotesque Mutation, yeah. Oh, look at that. Freaking Aladdin. It's like a, it's like a sk Skyscraper Sorry. Aladdin. Sorry, you're going to see it eventually. Char I met Chartooth Cougar. Right oh, now. yeah, yeah. Dude, this art's whack. Mountain cycling. I think that's a conspiracy that set. Okay. So what do you think the what do you think the delay is? Like 30 seconds? I'm right now at I'll tell you the moment I see uh the card. No, okay, dude, I dude. On the board right now. I just saw it. I'll shambling s remain. And we can do another one as way. This is good. Unearth. What does unearth do? I don't even know. Shambling can't be blocked. For th that's, that seems cool. Return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield. This seems like a great card. What the heck? This uncommon. Like in limited? This card in the game takes. Yeah. Um, so this is how we can text the, the delay also. I can just be like, go. The, 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 oh, wait, the delay for the stream? Oh, do it again. Hold on, let me just delay the stream. All right, I'm going to say go, like loud, and then you tell me when you hear it, okay? Wait, can you, actually, can you just do a thumbs up? Just tell me. Just oh, do yeah, up I'll do that. Stop now. So it's it's like twenty seconds, yeah. Um, okay, so icy manipulator. This is a this is a well known card. So yeah, it'd be cool if I could maybe Discord's faster. I wonder if Discord is quicker. 
You know, like, the, I wonder if the... Oh, no, no, it's not about that. It's about the stream being delayed. My, my, my mistake. Dude, I think this is... I hear this mentioned all the time. I wonder if this is valuable. Let me not look it up. Dude, this is the old frame. Umbral Mantle. Lorwyn. Dude, I, I think this set was just really cool. It would have been a really cool set to start playing, like... Oh, yeah. I know that set. I guess I have some cards in that set. That yeah. and Mirrodin. I really like the Mirrodin set. Oh, so yeah. Mirrodin was... Mirrodin was apparently powerful. Okay. Oh, this is my rare. Dude, I actually don't have this rare. And it's like a Theros themed. I like that. I don't think it's super powerful, but... Let's see. Dictate of... Helio. Oh, good. Okay. Well, he's... Uh, yeah, he's an anthem. And Gosh. like... And like I'm gonna I'm gonna make a cube one day, and here's the foil, a sliver foil, dude. This is an old school uh, foil. Like, I think it's plane shift or something. I don't know. Oh, All slivers uh, get I plus see. one plus one. Ooh, yeah, you got a slither, nice. I love the ideas of slithers. I would love to play a slither deck. Oh yeah, slither dude. Deck. Dude, search this. Search Eldrazi, uh, Sylvdrazi monstrosity. Um, the, um, I assume the new manipulator is not worth, any, not worth anything. Oh, it isn't? It's just mentioned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. so, Umbra. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you decide. Mm. Oh my goodness, wow, that's a great card. Oh, Jaws, you control the slurs. No, it's like a fake, like, right? It's a mock card that they put in these mystery boosters, the first edition. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love if they printed that. That'd be really cool. Huh. Rakdos Drake. Hmm. Unleash. And that was a plus one, plus one counter on it. It can't block. Oh, okay. Yeah. Active Impulse. Yeah, those cards. There's a lot of commons that are, like, um, uh, like, because standard is like the main format that they design cards around. Yeah. There's a lot of these kind of repeated cards with just different names to them. Yeah. You know, same mechanics, which I'm like, yeah. you know, I'm like, ah, it's just, if, if you're not playing standard, you just have a bunch of golf cards that just won't do anything, you know, or just, yeah. I don't need one of these. I don't need 40 different variations on it, you know? I do think these, I do think these cards are above average. Destructor, Dragon, Die, Destroy, Sorry, Sorry. Uh, They are definitely above average, yeah. You're not getting your shocks and stuff like that, you know, oh, except for except for the uh, the cat beast you just got. <laughs> the <four> <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro, vanilla's my favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> Dude, four flies oh. for five, that seems really fun. Like, you know, these are just fun cube cards, you know? Oh, Ashnod's Altar. Dude, I don't have this. This is great. You got Ashnod's Altar, sick. Dude, sick. Okay, old old frame. That's a good card. That's a, that's a, that is, that's worth something too. Yeah, I think that's it's like... That's a great card. Yeah, I don't have it. And it's good for like... um, John played it against us recently. And Ashnod's Altar is also... A you, got, a, you got the art that I prefer. Okay, I should try and share this on Twitch. I mean, on, on Instagram, on my story. See who's up late, you know? Hey. Hey, turn off your camera. Dude, look what I just pulled. Hold on. My camera's on. I can't see you right now. Oh, dude. I'll show it in the other, I'll show it in the other thing. Are you watching the oh, stream? Are you still, are you still streaming? Cause yeah. It, it said you went offline. Dude, it's because I went into Instagram. I didn't know when you leave the screen, there's a chance of it. Um... Dude, can you God, see this? Yeah. Can you see this, John? Oh, oh Slither. You got... Dude, a mythic. What the heck? I just Dude, this used to be a really expensive card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's so fun to talk about that. Yeah, that's what that's one of the top commanders. Yeah, Sliver High Lord. Dude, oh, look job. how pretty this is. Look at this look at this foil. Yeah, sorry, wow, man. Wow, that's nice too. I went onto Instagram. Dude, could you ever look at how much? Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm I'm taking your services, but could you ever look at Hive Lord? I think that's a good card. I think that's the best card I've pulled so far. Let's see, Goldfish, NTG, Hive Lord. 
Wow, good job. I'm happy that you got the Yeah, man. I'm so happy about it, man. Oh, there's a, there's a commander called Silvala. It's a green, like, centaur who's like a CDH commander, like a competitive one. Uh -huh. And that's also in the set. John pulled two of her. In, he, he opened two boxes. Yeah. Hey, everyone. I'm back on the stream. Had to pause it because I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> John, do you think um, I'm... Yeah, yeah, go on. You're at it's it's twenty dollars right now. Yeah. Um, it went down. It was at its highest. Yeah. Um, at, after, right after the War of the Spark expansion, it was forty dollars. Yeah, dude. So it went down a lot because of the reprint. Obviously. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's it's a nice card, man. It's It'll fun. Pull back up. Yeah, dude. I love the art of this. Like you know the whole like um, mm -hmm. the mythos around like the trainer the you know like and. <laughs> refocus the like and just the ah uh, untap target tree 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 and draw a card dude this is just flavorful i love it <laughs> hey listen listen linda i love Aang for that card <laughs> i understand now dude i've only watched the first two episodes of that series bro i would i i um i loved it as a kid but i only watched like a couple of the episodes from the first season, one or two in the second season, that was it. Like, I want to properly rewatch it. So if you want to rewatch it, let me know. We can, we can do that. Let's watch it together. Let's see. First year, Gargantua. Dude, check this out. This is funny, actually, in the, in the context of Ikoria. Okay, see, it's a cat becoming tiny and diminish. Actually, no, it's a... Wait, it's... Oh, it's a monster becoming tiny. Oh, uh, that's cool. Dude, and it becomes that's like cool. a 1-1. One, one. And right, compare that to like the card. It's I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same cat, that 2020 enchantment. That's cute. Have you seen the card that's... seven mana that makes you your card 2020 plus 20 plus 20? Um, no, I haven't. Wait, no, no, I did see it. Yeah, yeah, but you'll remember the art. But it's this it's the same cat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same type of cat, just massive. That's cool. Oh, bro, I've seen I've seen people pl like play this destroy target artifact or enchantment. Yeah, it's a commander card. Okay. Yeah, very good, very good. We'll put you over here. Very good, very good. Good removal, white green. Oh yeah, vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, viola. Bro, Squirrel Wrangler. Squirrel Wrangler, that's funny. Nice. Let me see the values of these old printed cards you're getting. All is dust. So wait, are those old cards or are those new cards with old art on them? Dude, these are new cards with the old art and with this symbol. Ooh. What is that? All is dust? Oh, yeah, I know that card. It's like an exile of... Is it monocolored or any colored? All colored. So probably not most artifacts. Oh, dude. Bro. This for a while was the only one mana 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah, him. Oh, you got him. <laughs> this, is, this is a cube bro, card, there's dude. A whole, there's a whole follow... From he's he's uh he has some money to him. There's a whole following of, of people wanting for commander because he's like the only one man that's two two. Like you can do a lot with it. Like he's a great um, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Combo piece. What's it called? Voltron. Voltron. Yeah, because the the tax won't be too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he's I'm actually so I'm gonna get some sleeves. I feel I know this is a bit peculiar, but I'm gonna get some sleeves for the for the foils. I think are decent. Yeah, you're, um, so you're, um, and you got a full version of it too, which is good. All his dust is worth eight bucks. Nice. Um, uh, and then, um, Code Isamaru. Yo, bro, Isamaru is five bucks as well. The foil? Nice. And he was up to $10 and the, when Battle Bond came out. Nice. Dude, um, I'm going to get the foils. Can you entertain the audience now? And I'll just get the foils. Sure. Uh, not the foils, bloody the sleeves. Sleeves, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, everyone, welcome to the stream. And, you know, you're here, you're seeing the uh, magic boosters. And, um, 
you know, I just I can tell you a uh, some of the some of the decks that I have are my intro into uh, Magic the Gathering. So I had um, I was first exposed to Magic the Gathering from uh, from Spartan Sunset and fell in love with it. But it was mainly through Commander, so I'm like a Commander only player. Um, so and I mainly do the pre cons, so I collect the pre cons and stuff like that. So one of the things that I did. Um, when, when I caught, when I caught the commander bug was I contacted all of these MTG stores in my Bro, area. I remember this story. And, uh, asked them what are all the commander products that they still have from old versions. And I would ask them to put it on hold and I'll go buy it. So I got like, um, the ferocious speed feline deck, um, ferocity deck. And, <laughs> um, that had like. Or what is it like eighty dollars worth of value at the time and yeah. i bought it it was regular price for 40 bucks yeah so i like bought it went to went to went to the game shop opened up the pack sold two cards and made my money back <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dude you could do that you could do that most years with one of the decks <laughs> well not in the more not in the more recent years unfortunately there's, have you looked at that force card in the new deck, like the the blue card? Yeah, I I don't know how, how that's done price wise. Dude, but the uh, worst thing is now, bro. The problem is the problem now is that I don't like this. The decks aren't equal price. Like they sell the best one for seventy dollars compared yeah, to exactly. fifty dollars. Like yeah, the only way you can stop that, you only can do that, uh, is if you order it. Like within like the first couple of days. Yeah. The, well, the first couple of days is all regular price. Yeah. Then you place your order there, and then yeah, then they just adjust for the inflation of the. Bro, look at this. Soft. And it's like, yeah. Look, look at this, man. Look at this. Add for each elf. Oh, that's good. That's good for elf deck. I like it. Yeah. I like the elf deck one, dude. That'd be fun. Yeah. I looked into it, but that's, um. Yo, that's from the commander, uh, the green flameswalker commander deck. Oh, cool. Oh, did you get that? Another commander. Uh, no, commander. I didn't. No, I didn't get. I don't have that deck, but I know the commander symbol. Dude, this is a this is a, the, what? That symbol. Oh, nice jungle shrine. Another try line. Destroy all green creatures. Yo, That's I good. didn't see the green. I didn't see the green claws, and I was like, what? What? <laughs> Three mana. Oh, this is a fun card. Not super valuable, but very fun. Dude, there's an MTG. Ooh, I love that card. I, I always wanted that card and build a deck around it. Get the 40 life objective. Yeah. Dude, there's an MTG podcast named after this card. I don't know if it's any good, but... Bike Feeder? Yeah. What does it do? Because, huh. um, like, you know, spikes are called the competitive players. Like. Oh, I didn't know that. It doesn't seem that great. It does not seem. Oh that. yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, the competitive part is quite cute. Yeah, talk to more competitive. That's a good yeah. name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I appreciate your time. Are you still playing Destiny, or you're paying attention to the feed now? Uh, I'm just paying attention to the feed. I'm very grateful, dude. Check this out. There's like a line there for like a promo line. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's all right. Yeah, the only thing is, like, we were talking about magic foils compared to, like, um, Pokemon foils. I 100% agree. Pokemon foils do it right. They've done it so much better since the beginning. And it's weird because Wizards used to make bloody foils for... Okay, I saw the bottom card. Dude, this is a great card. <laughs> I have this in, in my morph deck. I don't know if the foil's worth that? much. Dude, I can put this in my cube. It's from Avacyn Restored. Uh, you may cast on it. Oh, it's it. It's like a it's like a you know one time um what is it? You know, the flash enabler. Yeah, that was Ley line of uh yeah, 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 yeah. And um Valdel That's great. Oh yeah, the Dolphin Ori, bro, man. If I wish, I wish that 
because Manzone doesn't keep freaking talking about cards that are cheap. Uh, a hundred percent. If they if they stop talking about Vidal Canori for once, like um, like it would never go down low, but at least it would stop going up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, but even even Commander Quarters makes like twenty five cent cards into dollar cards here and there all the time. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, bro. Other things like my, I don't buy an TCG player. Buy I buy from my local shop, but they don't sell cards for twenty five cents. Like they'll they'll sell the rares for a dollar. That's it. You That's know? like the Doesn't minimum. Yeah, it's... yeah. Dude, yeah. Darth Ravan. It's Darth Ravan. I've seen so Darth. many lead by examples in my life. Jeez. Oh, Majest. Majest. For example, Kabu. Oh, Bajuka Bog. Great commander card. There you go. Bajuka Bog. Oh, Bajuka Bog. Bro. Bro. Soren. I don't have this Soren. From original Zendikar. Oh, sick. Nice. Soren deals two damage to target creature or player and you gain two life. Target opponent's life total becomes 10. Bro. In command, dude, I can do this in commander. Like you know, play him in my <laughs> crick deck, tick down yeah. someone to ten life immediately. Oh yeah, you can do it immediately. You're right. Oh bro, put it in. Yeah, if you put it in yog. Sorry, crick, Yogma, crick. Y where yeah. it's all um. Oh, that's actually put it nice. That's a great card. It's a fun um, card. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you put it in uh, son of yogmom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crick, son of Yogmoth. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. Pay three mana. You know, pay six life, three mana. But then, like, someone's at ten life. You know, they could be life gaining the crap out of the world. And yep. Dude, this one's cool. I one mana two two. Very fun. Like, obviously, it's not the best one mana card in the game, but it's like in terms of stats, I'm pretty sure it's the best one mana card. <laughs> It's a model, and it's foil too, so that's an awesome big plus. Okay. I wish Magic made his foils more like. Yeah. Got a mythic. I wish they used the chances of getting a mythic foil. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten a mythic foil. I you got, know, I gonna, bro. You know. Mythic foils are in the old sets, not anymore. I think the newer sets, the the mythics and foils are all whacked out. Like, ever since Theros, mm -hmm. ever since Theros, dude, I think the mythic rates increased. But dude, back in the day, I got a Chandra from Kaladesh foil, um, mythic, and and mythic rares in Kaladesh were rarer than masterpieces. You know, like those beautiful Kaladesh masterpieces. Really? Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I got it, and it was like really? fifty bucks when it was in standard. Now it's like twenty something dollar rare. But Jose got me like a few packs from Walmart, and it was in one of those. For Christmas. Uh, that's funny. Dude, swords. Girl, Walmart is... Wandering champion. Does combat damage. Swords of Posture. Nice. That's it. That's Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you were saying Walmart? Um, Walmart increases their prices so bad with magic stuff, man. I go in there... I go, whenever I go to Walmart, I'll always check their magic section to see if I can find a deal. Bro, their deals are worse than local game shops. Bro, and it's and it's, so and it's so quarantine. Like Sixty bucks. And, and it's quarantine. Why would they do that? <laughs> Dude, can you turn off your camera just for the stream's sake? Sorry, it'll just t diminish my one megabyte upload speed. Oh, yeah, sorry. Dude, look at that art. What the fudge sticks? Ward, I wish. French mine. Ooh, I can tell you talked about. Thanks for staying up, bruh. Hey, you're welcome. I'm gonna go grab a snack. No worries, bro. Rare pack. No worries. I'll fall. I'll um sleeve my stuff. Goblin, turkey, chicken, taste, on turn rice. Hmm. It's like a ten. Two of strength. Good commander staple right here. Yeah. Thrashing for really? Brumstone. Oh. oh, thrashing. I didn't see that card it's, yet. It's played a lot. Thrashing Brumstone. Yeah, so I've seen that guy. Just good removal. Yeah, he'd be good for like my um my sacrifice deck. Stockpile. I like I do like the stockpile mechanic. I think that's great. Yeah. Pilgrim's eye. Or cool, you gain X life. Ooh. 
Spicy. Infinite life. Uh -huh. What the heck? Double strike protection from black and from green. Miran Crusader. That's cool. It's not a... The cool thing is Commander. If he's a Commander, that'd be great. Protection? Oh, it's three mana. Okay, that's good. I thought it was five mana. That's uh... This looks like a foil, foil rare. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I have no idea what's... Patron, Patron of the Moon. Moonfall. That's it. That was a one-off mechanic. Expansive. Yeah. All right, that's this pack, mate. Go have a snacky. Oh, I need to lose 10 kilos before I'm married, mate. <laughs> Look at these chubby hands. <laughs> What are you eating, mate? Oi, are you ignoring me? I, I can't talk. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the, the fridge is next to the sleeping giant. <laughs> You're going into Polyphemus's cave and stealing his sheep. That's an Odysseus reference for for those yeah, I for those who know. He's the one who says, "Dude, yeah, 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 I get ya, dude, yeah." And it's sorry, I know, I don't know if you're on speaker on headphones. Oh, you you can talk. You're good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't talk. Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's doxing his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in the big six. Bro, I'm loving these openings. Like the, the, the cards are great for like, you know? Dude, um, I think this set, I don't know if it's more valuable than Ultimate Masters, but I think there's more value in some of the uncommons. Really? Yeah, yeah really. I like that art. That's good art. Oh, wait, you're not even looking at the stream. You're just hearing me. No worries. Fiend Hunter. Sweet, dude. Three in a That seems pretty good. That seems really good. Oh, grave shot. Storm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny. I was I was like watching a guy a video from um, Pleasant Kenobi. He's like an English magic YouTuber who makes some pretty great videos. But he's he's he he you know. He really teases the left. He he really he really dabbles his t toe into the left. Anyway, he makes good videos, and he was saying. I'm sorry, Francis. No, no, sorry, right. I didn't hear that. I'm oh, sorry. it's all good. Basically, there was this YouTuber who was saying that um, dogs are completely underrepresented in Magic. Uh huh. And um, and like um. It's so easy for creatures to be a cat. You know, something's barely a cat. You know, a serpent cat, a dragon cat, a beast cat, cat, cat this, cat that. And then, like, dogs mm -hmm. have all these distinctions, like wolf, dog, jackal. Like, there's, there's no, like, <laughs> there's, there's so many yeah. segregations. And so the, 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 um, the tribe is so much less powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish, I wish they... Uh... I wish they said, I wish they used the archetype lion or like cheetah or something. Not yeah. Not cat. Like cats so many. <laughs> That'll be equal opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, have you seen that funny Pokemon video of like when Blastoise and, and Charizard are like angry that there are more and more Pokemon as the older they get? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, I'll, I'll keep the conversations once you've got your snacks. Yeah, hold on, sorry. It's all good, man. Okay, you got a Doom Gape. Really, whoa, what the heck? A seven mana 10 drop. Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Doom Gape. Whelming Wave. Trample creatures to their odors. It can accept like Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpent. That's so fun. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I got an unblockable infect creature. That's cool. That is cool. John, I like. I like. Lieutenant of the Guard, Purple Crystal Crab, Pen Pan Apple, Pen Pan Apple Pen. It's a beautiful, it's a wonderful Die Young, very fun. I mean, not, not the title, just the card. Brute Strength, Shock in every set. Silhana, oh hi, hi James, oh hi Mark. Elvish Visionary. Bro, if I get one of the major hits now, I will be sad. I might stop after this pack and talk to the peeps, which equals you. Some guy with a interesting username is trying to contact me on Instagram. I think I know who it is. I think it's Ash, a guy I know from Melbourne. Uh huh. But one request. Oh yeah, top bloke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash, come, brother. Come, brother. You know you want to. Okay, I'm back. I'm good. Dude, I haven't got any major hits. Um, oh, that's fun. It's a bill card. When you said you think more of the value is in the uncommon, do you mean play value or monetary value? I don't know if play value. I think monetary value. I think there's a few uncommons that are more valuable than one would think. Cool. Right. I, I always like Theros set foils. Angel of Dire Hour. Flash flying. When the Angel of Dire Hour enters the battlefield, if you cast from your hand, exile all attacking creatures. Bruh, that's sweet. I don't mind that. That's right. It's from a, it's from a commander set. Oh, he's great. Yeah, I got that angel. He's so good. Yeah, is that in your angel deck? Did you ever make that angel deck in the end? I still, I still have the pieces. I still, yeah, still dude. Like more. Dude, I was making the angel deck. Because I, I, think, I think a lot of boys in the Catholic circles, if they get into magic, they feel that they're justifying their addiction to this new agey thing by making an <laughs> angel deck instead of a demon deck. I'm not judging you. I think the art of the angel cards is also really cool. But so I was making, I was going to make like maybe a foil angel deck, but then I saw the prize of the foils and I ended up making like a, um, uh, I ended up making the Joda deck. Foil, oh. this is a... Oh, Conflux? I think that's a set. Hey, I've got someone in the stream. Yo. Hi, Ash. What's up? <laughs> Yo, those are my personalized emotes. They're totally not just the generic Twitter ones. Twitter. Jeez. <laughs> um, Ash is one of the guys I got playing some MTG in Melbs. Oh, yes. Hi, Ash. 
Um, Ash, can you hear John a bit? He's in the he's on the chats. I'm just I'm streaming off my phone and trying to figure this out. Test one two. Test one two. How's the quarantine, bruh? Oh, he said, hey, bro. You, you can probably see the chat. <laughs> I feel like I am no longer alone. It's like, imagine... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, imagine if, uh, if it's not Ash and it's just some rando and he's just pretending to be Ash and then Ash really comes in the stream. Dude, Ash, I follow you on the Instagram, not the Instagram you messaged me on. And I, I thought it was one of those spam Russian accounts that are trying to get visas. <laughs> Okay, some people think this is like, they love the text of this one. Totally lost. So this weird homunculus in a crowd in Ravnica. And then the text is, Fibble Thip has always hated crowds. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I think Ristic yeah, Study did like a whole video on that. Yeah, there is. A, I think he, he, yeah, he's in like other arts or something like that. Yeah. Like there's like a joke with him. Yeah, like there's like plushies off the magic store online. Well, there's a card named Fiddle Fip. Dude, I'm starting to get people going on the stream. So, like, <laughs> either the algorithm's all right, or Ash is telling some bros to come and oh. make me not feel so somber. Hey, bros. Hey, bros. Let's pillage this stream, dude. <laughs> we'll have to see talk artifact. You know what's funny? It's like, because I see the stream and I'm commenting on the stream, yeah. It's going to be delayed for people. <laughs> <laughs> this is my slow brother. He is like, slow. Yeah, this is my slow brother because I'm chatting with you in real time, but I'm reacting to the video that's delayed. Okay, let's be so, real. Let's be real. You wouldn't get an angel deck if this was the art for all the angel cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Hey, 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 bro, I'm your guardian angel. I guard you. Look, bro. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Oh, what the heck is that? Bro, that's like the Nicolas Cage version of like... Uh... <laughs> no, no, he looks like the, the guy, the, the, the song, the... <laughs> that's what it looks like. Bye, Ash. Hope you find your dad. Be cursory and all of them. Oh, Bro, I heard this. Card. This is probably a good card, but my brain kind of got tied in the middle. <laughs> oh, dude, it's a mythic rare. Foil. All right. Dude, yeah, I definitely have this in the cube, but I don't know. I don't think I have the foil. That's cool, hey? Could you check the price of this? It's probably not too much, but. Sorry, I don't see the card yet. Oh, Mist Hollow Griffin, Foil Mythic. Also, dude, unfortunately, I think this angel is a rare. Hollow Griffin. Um, Ash, this. thanks for coming, Ash, because obviously your presence is always just uh, warms my heart. <clears throat> yeah. Feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, exactly. John can feel it. But the thing is, um, also, if I get three viewers in like 10 streams over a month, I can get the monies. Honestly, though, I, I would prefer to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube and just stream on YouTube. That would be my, but you need a thousand. Like that's the litmus. Mm. So. Yo, you gotta just all you gotta do is just get Father Mike Schmitz on the stream and boom, you're done. All I've gotta do is get Matt Frad to see the video that you graciously <laughs> <laughs> commented on. <laughs> he needs to invite me on 15 minutes. Oh, I'm going completely against the video the idea though. <laughs> like I do agree though. I do agree. I do agree. Like like it's not the point of life. Like hundred percent you reaching one other person is authentically is so much better. But it's still, it's like everyone needs a mentor, and Matt Frad's me mentor. That's so funny. He probably thinks I'm a stalker, but yeah, he's my mentor. <laughs> also, there's more, there's more uncommons sometimes than, than there's as many uncommons as commons sometimes in these packs. Oh. Dude, naturalize used to be, I'm pretty sure, a, a staple in Commander. 
but now there are just way more efficient removal spells. I play this, I play Abundant Growth in, um... Ooh, that's right. Bro, we've been going for 30 minutes. It's a surprise I haven't soiled myself. Like, dude, this is like a marathon. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <clears throat> I'm like tournament level, whatever that new game is. There's that new game, oh, that people are like doing eight Valorant. day streams. Valorant. I'm like South Korea Valorant, like epic long streams, <laughs> bruh. Uh, I'm interested in Valorant. I, I, I really love like, I love bro, bro, life. you're gonna see this card in a moment, dude. This is so cool. Drawing this twenty years later. Uh, I I want to see. Uh, wait bro, to see the oh, he's delayed. <laughs> bro, come on, Commander players unite. Come on, abundant growth. Just get rid of the <laughs> dude. Yeah, you're like forty see. seconds behind now, dude. Swift water clips. Oh, Rhystic study, yo, bro. bro. <laughs> the common that's twenty dollars, boys. Holy crap, Joe. I have one oh. from the original set that I bought in Ottawa in Carta Magica. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm happy, man. That's great. Rhystic Study. Um, that Miss Hollow Griffin was, is a dollar. Um, let's see Rhystic Study. Oh, bro, that's great. What a good pull. Bro, that makes me happy, right? Like a, a commander player, like mint condition Rhystic Study with... um. What, what, this is like a, a, a... Oh, no, he doesn't have dreadlocks. Dude, I, I've never looked so closely at this card. I always thought this was part of his dreadlocks, but this is like a... <laughs> it's a witch. Oh, bro, Rhystic Study, man. It's um, it's 25 bucks right now. Bro, it, dude, that's... Bro, that's gone up so much in recent years because of Commander. That's Mate, so we're not even halfway through. I'm sorry for keeping you up, boys, but this is the... Shh, this is the... Shh, Oh, Ash, give us a holler if you're still there. If you don't give a holler, I'll feel silly for doing this. Shout out, but... Uh... Yeah, yes. Rhystic study, yes. Yes. Oh, very cool. Apostle's Blessing, very cool. So, um... Thanks for not saying the card... Um before I saw it, because that was really good. When me seeing it, it's like, oh, my reaction. You know, it's like this anticipation. Though. Is it? Yeah, yeah dude. 20, I think that's the highest value card I've pulled. I think it's bigger than the Sliver. Oh, um, yes, it is. The Slither is 20 bucks. Yeah. But the Slither would... The Slither has... has more potential. More, more, though. Yeah, I think, I think they'll reprint Rhystic Study potentially in the Commander product later this year. Mm. Or, controversial, do they ban it? Really? No, I don't think they'll ban it. Yeah, they'd have to ban too much. They'd have to ban like the one good white card, whatever that, like that um, smothering tithe. The aftermath set is going to be crazy. That's going to really change up the whole game. Bro, like, you know, I'm opening these up because I'm not drafting with anyone and stuff like that and because it's hard to keep them closed. But dude, seriously, like that commander deck, that commander set is one of those sets I'll keep the boosters even if it takes me years to play through them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I got an M615 creature, spirit horror. Chasm Skulker. When you draw a card, put a 1 1 counter on him. Uh, I was going to say it or her to be more um, gentle, but I'm going to stick to my guns, mate. I'm going to stick to my guns. Squid oh, I have that card. Squid horror. Seems all right. Bro, this looks sick. Oh, dude, this is... People love this card. Like, it's a rat commander. Okay, let's see. Just waiting for the stream to catch up. Bro, I'm loving this... Um... Oh, all rats have here. Sacred to rat. This was reprinted for the, the this was reprinted for the year of the rat. Oh. That's um yo, that'd be good. That'd be that'd be a really interesting commander deck. Because if you did this guy as your commander and then you had ninety nine of those rats that says you can have as many as you want in the deck. Oh yeah. 
remember those? Like you yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. They're in, they're in domin- I think there's two types of rats like that. Um, I, this card was reprinted in um, uh, Year of the Rat myth, myth, um, Secret Lair with a different so, art. Well, can you remind me what the fear mechanic is? Um, yep. Fear is... <laughs> I didn't say on the card. I think it's to do with can't be blocked unless you're... you're it can't be blocked unless it's a black creature or like the creature of the same color. Something like that. Mm. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Dude, let's talk about the Pokemon foils again. Sorry, I feel like... Uh... Yeah. You're so, so well. And like, yeah, like Wizards has been, has been in the business longer than them. Literally created the cards for them. And then Pokemon Company just goes and does it themselves and does it 20 million times better. Like, I don't love some of the foil variants, but the quality of the foiling is amazing. Quality is so good. Um, <clears throat> you know, even full variants, like, I totally, like... Oh, my gosh. Okay, you'll see this card later. It's not that great, but I'm happy because I've never, ever opened one of this one of this card. Beautiful Scholar. Shimmer Scale Drake. Catacomb Slug. <gasps> Catacomb Slug? No way. Is that good? No, are you joking? <laughs> ah, you got me. Is that vanilla card? Yeah. Oh, lightning ball. Oh, sick. Nice. Yeah, dude. I've never pulled it. No. How much is lightning ball? Now? Let's see. Probably like two bucks. I'm guessing. I'm gonna get five bucks. Let's see. Man, you know how many times I try to write lightning and I write lighting instead? Jeez. Oh, Mystic Confluence, not bad. Nothing crazy in this pack. Oh, that's a good card. Extract from Darkness. Or a good commander card, rather. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. Aether Spellbomb's not bad. Oh, nice. Mystic Confluence, okay. That's worth some stuff. Uh, Lightning Bolt, yeah, you're right. Two, uh, it's a dollar seventy. Let's see, Mystic Confluence. What's the what's the other portal you have there? Paradox Haze. Paradox Haze. Okay. Was it a foil Mystic Confluence you had or no? No, 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 it wasn't a foil. Dude, okay, the Mr. foils. Is, dude, uh, the foils from Battle Bond. The foils from Battle Bond are like so expensive. I've got like a foil like dual land, the ones that don't untap that don't tap when you have like commander games. And it's like wow. 40 bucks. It's like 40 bucks. Like Wow. Man, I, I wish I, I picked up some, some battle bond, but dude, absolutely, dude, absolutely. I only opened maybe ten packs all up, but amazing set, awesome summer set. Like me and my um, me and Garrett went to went to our game shop to go to the pre-release event for it. We we're so excited, um, and uh, we we're so excited for it. We we're like the whole the whole two headed mechanic. We're like, oh, it's gonna be great. We go in, and we think we we're gonna go buy our pre-release pack, and it's like, like forty bucks, and all they gave us was like, like six packs or something like that. I was like, what? Like, what is this? Why is it forty bucks? Like, oh, it's the, all the money, the extra money is for the for the contest fees, you know? Oh man, because they didn't actually have a pre-release pack. Um, so yeah. yeah, we just ended up buying it because like that's a waste of money. Like forty dollars, we can buy, we can buy so much more, but. Because of that, we ended up not getting battle bomb packs. Oh, fertile ground, that's good. Fertile ground's good. Cathartic reunion used to be good, but then they've reprinted right. it a lot. Fertile ground's good for commander. Very good. Um, dude, we've got to finish talking about bloody f- Pokemon foils. Here's just let's finish this because it's just right, on my Skywalker. mind. Um. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah, we've got to talk about that too. Okay, we'll talk about Pokemon foils. I had another topic I want to talk about. Regrets in not buying... Things we didn't buy in Magic, because I have two of them. (laughs) 
Um, uh-huh. Pestilence. What the heck? At the end of a turn, if no creatures are in place, sacrifice pestilence. Oh, this is like if you have infinite black mana, you can just kill everyone. Cool. That's cool. It's Baron Golem. Pestilence. Pestilence. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I, okay. So, first things first. Yeah, I've got to find a way where your chat isn't delayed as much, or like the stream. It's probably because of the speed of my download. Um, if you refresh the stream, it might like make it... Uh, it might make it more up to date, yeah. Right now, right now you're holding a new pack. Sweet. And now I'm op I've opened it and... Right now you're opening it. Sweet, yeah, so it's a bit faster now. So if you refresh it a few times... Dude, okay, so these are my the regrets I remember from um, from some purchases. I didn't buy. I saw at a Comic Con in Ottawa, twenty five dollars, twenty five Canadian dollars for a Traxa. Oh. And dude, I was just addicted to cracking packs. I was playing some standard at the time. I was going to like showdowns. And I uh -huh. got Amon Ket boosters instead. Twenty-five dollars for the Atraxa deck. Uh, for the Atraxa deck? The deck. No way! Oh my goodness. That is the most I regret in not purchasing. No way. Another one that is this. Another one is this box because it cost me fifty dollars. Then at release, more. Was that was that staff? Uh. It's Phyrexian Ingester. Oh my god, 25 bucks! Dude, 25. Bucks! Oh my goodness, I can't believe that! Oh my goodness, bro! <laughs> bro, and I bought boosters, Amon kept boosters, which at most now what? There's like. Anyway, it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes in these purchases. Second was Battle Bond. I wish I got more Battle Bond because it's just a sweet set. Mm hmm. But it was underprinted. Like, you know, it just came out of nowhere. Very little advertising. It was just like, oh, Battle Bond. Do you have any magic things that... Maybe not, because you usually wait for a good deal. But do you have any... Uh... Bro, this is um, me. This well, is actually, me. I want to buy... And I don't know if, if I'm making a bad decision here. But I want to buy the coronavirus card that they renamed. Dude, 100%. Right? It's, but it's 50 bucks right now already. Dude, it's going to go down. The non-foil will be like 5 bucks, I reckon, soon. And the foil will be like 20 But that card in 10 years, I believe, will be a few hundred dollars. Mm. Are you, you going to buy it? I... John, don't get mad at me. I bought a collector box. You did? Yeah. Ooh. So, <laughs> well, it's not I'm mad at you. It's Jose. <laughs> I to oh, dude, I got something good. I got something good. Um, oh, sick. Okay, no, I told her. I told her about that one, so. Okay, okay. So bound, I'm on bounding crisis right, crisis right now. Yeah, next one. Vicious Bobble. Okay. Dude, this is it. It's, it, it's, the, uh, best, it's the best uncommon. I think it's eight bucks. Let's see. Wait, oh, this is it. Oh, it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is Bobble, okay? Yeah, okay, okay, coming, coming. Look at how far it's plays by the way. Oh, yes, that strategy. Gotcha. Yeah, dude, I played in Urza. Community upgrade. Track this feature. Oh. Dude, it One used to be, like, look at the history. If you look at the history of that, I think it got up to, like, 20 bucks. Like, it was, <laughs> there was a time, like, two years ago when it was expensive as... Ash, you leave me. I don't mind. It is okay. Ash, thank you for your time. John, the people on the street don't want to hear you. Yo, this is the sponsor. He has a mouth that is wild. Maximum on top food. Okay, so... um, Yeah, I think... Foilage is better in Pokemon and just I think it should be better in magic because that's like some of the coolest things you collect and um, 
yeah, that's about it to it. Do you have anything to add about Pokemon foils and just in general, Pokemon compared to Magic? Um, yeah, Pokemon foils in general. Um, no, I, do, well, I, I love that they, um, uh, their cards could look, um, when they want to do like a new EX card or whatnot, like they can look very unique, very different set to set. Like, um, like some cards, it's a grass creature, the whole card is green foiled, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and like has, it's textured too. You yeah. Know? Like that's really cool. Absolutely. Uh, but with magic, it's like the same foil, sorry, the same frame. It's just foil and the foil isn't very colorful most of the time. Um, and then, um, it's like the, the, yeah, it's like, oh, okay. You know, I, I would love to have the colors pop out more as well. Like I find the colors are too dark. Oh really? I actually like, okay. Okay. I actually sometimes like the muted colors. That's, that's personal. I agree with the foiling. But I actually like sometimes some sets that are more muted. Some sets. Yeah. So it, it, you're right. It's a muted style, which I do. I do like that style, but um, I just find that it's the. Uh, I don't know. There's just maybe too too much of it present. Where like I want to see more variety. I don't know. Like, and, and I think I might also talk about the frame. Like when it comes to Pokemon, like um, if I remember correctly. Like the when it comes to EX cards or whatnot, yeah, the, the art is like eighty percent of the card, you know, yeah. and then the text is just supplemental. But even with Magic, like still, the the art is only like that little window yeah. of the card. It's okay, like this that. is what I would do. Can you search for asceticism while I say this? But could you look at this? John played this and it was really good in his deck. Asceticism. Um. Okay, this is what I will say. I agree with you. In special foil cards, I think the art needs to take more of the... Oh, 15 bucks, bro. That card's $15. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. So I think oh, in special okay, foils, it should take more of the space. And they should get rid of like... In special foils, they get rid of like this descriptive text for sure. So you can minimize it. But uh -huh. I must say, one thing that attracted me a lot to Magic compared to Yugo was the art style. I liked it a lot more. But also that the, the rules text wasn't so small that I was struggling each game. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. like that that made the longevity, like the potential for me to keep going, like very short. Yeah. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's text is so intimidating. So many times I'll see a card and I just won't read it. Because <laughs> it's like I don't understand. It's also confusing too. Absolutely. Like what Magic does really well is the like the text of the card explains the card. They do that very well. The text of the card explains the card. Or the card, re reading the card explains the card. And reading the card explains the card. That's what the professor said, yeah. You're right. And it has like some, like Tim or something on the card. Yeah, so I think Magic excellently. Like, I think the flavor text, um, they, like only like a handful of cards. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's only like a handful of cards where the flavor text I really appreciate. Yeah. Or, like, um, so, yeah, but I know obviously there's a whole, there's a whole hardcore more group that, like, the flavor text is just as important as anything else in the card. For sure, yeah. for sure. And also design is kind of nice. Oh, great common, uh, Thraben Inspector. There is a design philosophy that's like, we want some consistency. And like, for, for like tournament play, I can see some tournament players really liking that, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Oh, I remember when you guys were looking for the card. It was like or a dollar. It was like a dollar or dollar fifty common during Innistrad when it first came out. So, it's played in cubes like oh, nice. Ancestral Mask, good card. Alpine Grizzly, Call of Nightwing. Oh yes, good commander card came. I'm gonna leave it on the ground so you can see it. Okay, let's see. I'm still at Alpine Grizzly. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't even know what this dragon mask does. Called the Nightwing. Dude, this is a weird old card. Ball clap. Nice. Yeah, dude. Nice card. It's probably like five bucks, I think. This dragon mask. Skull clamp, I've heard designers say that was a mistake card. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, they've said that, yeah. That minus one completely ruined it all. Oh, Decree of Justice. Ooh. 
Excellent. Oh, bro, I love that. Um, I love that that new enchantment that they printed. No, not new. It's I think it's still in standard, but the one where all your tokens become angels. Oh yeah, yeah. From from um Ravnica. Yeah. Uh, or like call to arms. Absolutely, so good, dude. I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I'm busting, and I think I got a bit dehydrated. So I'm gonna dim the light. If you want to say anything ridiculous, I do not mind. Dude, I have not sworn on this stream yet. I would like my case for canonization to begin now. <laughs> um, I believe the miracle of life is sufficient for this, and the, the good works is also sufficient. <laughs> All right. Back to our two picks, eh? Back to opening packs. Yeah, so I really want to get a Death Corona. Um, you know, just like, it would be nice. It would be cool. Ephemerate, great common. Catch. Yeah, I appreciate this. Man, when I when I open the other one like in a week or a week and a half, would you would you be cool watch streaming it with me again? Sure. Well, just message me and let, and, uh, let you know if it works out. Dude, time. no, no. I'll, next time, I'll make sure it's a better... Like, I'll make sure it's a good time for you because I'm really enjoying doing this with you. It's a much more happy experience. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if this is not the best viewing, but I hope it's okay. Oh, I got you. Menace. Rubber Giant. Um, you can you can go you can go past the cards that are just the vanillas like much quicker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Spectre. Might be something. Avalanche Riders, man, they got rid of the Nomads. <laughs> um, they got rid of. Oh, the... we got Snow. Oh, Cold Steel Heart. Okay. They got rid of the Nomads type pretty quick. Dude, if I got a Mana Crypt, I would lose it. I would absolutely lose it. Oh, yeah, if you got a Mana Crypt, oh. would, you, would you sell it or would you keep it? I would probably sell it and sell some more cards to try and get the Mana Crypt from Kaladesh. Wait, and keep that one, eh? Yeah. So, ooh, nice, you got an Avatar. Dude, Heck. I've... I've uh, lost twice against this card at a game shop. Like, the guy who had this deck was, like, just killing. Wow. Exchange it with the power. That's a great ability. Oh, a foil it's huge. starting health? Um, 4-4. Four, four. Dude, I, this guy, like, destroyed. I played him, like, twice on two different weeks, and he just... He said it's, like, a, he, he said it's a janky commander, and yet, like... It's like in the meta, it like no one had responses to this commander. It was ridiculous. You know, it's like a mono white, you know, six casting cost. You know, it's just like... Mm -hmm. It's so unassuming, and yet his deck was just prime for our meta. I just can't... I can't wait for Magic to... MTG to print more commander cards. Like... I hope when they when they start printing commander only cards, um, uh, then like, yeah, then they can probably do some more. That's like they don't have to worry about messing up standard. You know, yeah. so they get more freedom. Oh, nice! I got a good card. Battle Roman Shaman. Oh, Eternal Witness. Hey, there you go. I don't think I have an Eternal Witness. Bucks. I have like three of them. Yeah, seven bucks is good. Oh, a cool little creature with all the colors on it. That's cool. Oh, an ultimatum. That's in theme. Not super good, but decent. What did you say, ultimatum? I got a uh, violent... Oh, cool ult ultimatum. Gotcha. Oh, that's a great card. Violent ultimatum. It's, it's pretty good. I think there are better ultimatums. Whoa! Oh, Batman's Aquamatum, wow. It's nice. Okay, what the Savage fuck? Savage Knuckle Blade. Okay. What the frick? Okay, so my dream cube, okay. 
Like I really like Innistrad. Oh, first turns are kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they'll do them again. I think this might be the least player friendly version, which is crazy convinced that mm-hmm. flip cards exist. Totally looks amazing. Um, yeah, even when I look at I'm like, I don't, that's confusing. Yeah, dude. Okay, so Dream Cube. Dream Cube would be Age of Mythology Cube, right? What cube? Sorry? Age of Mythology Cube. So you get the Ammon Ket block, get the Theros blocks. Get, oh, get okay. a, are you just making this up right now? Yeah, no, like, no, yeah, I would love to do this. Like one day if they release a Norse <laughs> set, dude, a Norse set, they have a Norse plane. It's called like, oh, I can't remember, like Alfheim, not Alfheim. That's from like some stupid Is anime. It Valhalla? It's not called Valhalla, but it's it's like, I don't know. I don't, I, dude, I just don't remember. Bloody heck. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I should have put this on my Facebook next time. I'll do it next time. Um, but yeah, would you add in an Age of Mythology theme if they release the Norse set? Would you add the Kamigawa cards? Would I add the Kamigawa? That's a great question. Um, no, I wouldn't. Even though they might be, even though they may be the similar era, that just like that sort of samurai era it just it doesn't match it doesn't ma- doesn't connect with uh i don't think of that when i think about age mythology you know? yeah yeah i agree i agree it, it probably takes it too far away yeah like the ninjas especially one thing i don't like that magic does is reprinting st- starter like welcome deck cards like you just got the untamed forge or whatever that card that can yeah be in it like yeah. just, I'm just like, why you? You just, you just pretty garbage. That's why there's worth nothing to no one. The people buying this deck don't are 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 not needing starter cards. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just you're just. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, ugh, that's what I don't like. It's they know exactly what they're doing. You know how much those cards are worth. Yeah. Um, dude, this is what they did for haste back in the day. Is unaffected by summoning sickness. Oh. That's cool. Well, what, was there a reason why they had to stop that? Well, they just came up with the keyword for haste. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I haven't got any of the crazy, crazy cards, but I've really enjoyed this. I, I know there's like a lot of good comments that I haven't even looked at, so that's the sweet part. That's the sweet, gentle caress. I am surrounded. Yeah, so like Year of the Rat. I hope I don't get too controversial here. Year of the Rat cards came out from Magic. That's great. That's fun. That's addressing a market. But when I think of rats, I think of plague. And this has been a year of plague. Sorry? I didn't even know there was a year of the rat. Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's not Western, right? It's... It's it's I think it's the Chinese New Year. Oh, I guess. I don't know if it's attached to like some kind of star signs they have there. I don't know. I don't know. It's you know, whatever. It's part of their culture. That's fine. In rats aren't usually looked upon with high value, at least from what I see. <laughs> and then this year ends up being the year of plagues, you know? So it's like it's very like yeah, whatever. Yeah. This is this is the they do a yearly themes. No, 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 dude, dude. It's like Hearthstone, and but like in China, they legitimately call their years after a certain animal. Oh yeah, but I mean, in MTG, do they call like this is the year of this? No, I like think I know. I think they just made like a secret layer in honor of the year of the rat or something like that. Oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And like cool cards and. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just in my head, rats are super lowly animals. Like mm-hmm. vermin, you know? Unlike yeah. a donkey. Donkeys are the best. It's like, you know, it's the equivalent of a pig in like old uh, Hebrew times. Oh yeah, like in Semitic, Semitic cultures. For sure, man. 
For sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, this is cool. Interesting. There's a lot of interesting cards that I've that pulled. Oh, so sweet. This, did you get seen? Dude, Phyrexian Arena. I'll put this in my Crick deck. I don't have this. Wait, you, got, you got Phyrexian Arena? Dude, oh, yeah. Nice. That's like a oh, $10 nice. card, right? Yeah, good job. Yeah, that's like... Uh, I think a $10 oh, card, yeah. Sweet, this is a cool card. I don't think this is expensive, but I got a cool foil. I considered putting this in my Jota deck. It's like a mega draw. Let's see. It's a Myojin. Light Web. Oh, that's cool. Dude, if I get a Mana Crypt, or a Send Triplet, or like that dra foil dragon that's in a set... So is, is Zen Trip was really expensive? I think like the foil is like 60 bucks. Okay. Dude, this, this is one of the most fun. I, I think I've enjoyed this more than the Theros opening. It's just been such a mixed bag. It's so cool. Nice. I'm surrounded. Painful lessons. Built to smash, roasting it. Land of War Elves. Oh, no, Giant Grove. Very fun art for Giant Grove. Very fun. Rona's Monument. Elixir of Immortality. Oh, that's fun. Not very powerful. I mean, not very expensive, but it's a cool card. Yeah. Oh, Ronus Monument. I, I love those Monument cards. I thought oh, they yeah, they're great. great. I play them in monocolored decks all the time. Approach to the second sign. All right. Hey, Talarian loves it. I don't think I've pulled crazy amounts of Mythics, so I've got hope for these last two packs. Yeah. Uh, Matacrypt, let's go. Bro, if I get a Matacrypt, I'll, I'll clip it. I'm going to clip it, mate. <laughs> I don't know if this gets saved. I wonder. I never thought of that before. I hope it does. But, like, I won't keep it up, but I'd like to take a copy for that side channel. Oh, Meditation Puzzle, that's a cool art. Which one? Meditation Puzzle. What the lady was standing or not? She's standing in like on the labyrinth. Let's see, shape the sands. Mm. Oh, sweet little green card there for you. I think this is a rare. Rages of the moat. Creatures without flying can't attack. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Oh, that's great. And a cool yeah, little foil, a little burning inquiry. Cool, cool, cool. Bro, one pack left. Is this the Mana Crypt pack? Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt. I'm going to see how much for this is. Probably like five bucks, I'm guessing. Oop. Um... See. That. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sweet. I got a mythic Liliana. Oh, what? Another one oh. of this guy. Okay. That was pretty good opening. I like. Where's the fairy dice is eight bucks. Oh, not bad. Oh, Liliana, nice. And another oh, yeah, Isamaru. Isamaru. Dude, I'll send you the Isamaru as in honor of the first stream. <laughs> I will literally send sure, you a letter with the good. foil Isamaru. <laughs> sure, that's good. I'd, I'd, I'd love that. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Dude. Good, good stream all up. Let's let's pick the best cards. Let's have a look just through this pile, and I'll be the end yeah, of the stream. Pull, pull your your polls.
Leave them all. Okay. There. That's a nice. Um, oh, that's that's a beautiful mat. Playing mat. Dude, isn't it? Your it's my though. yeah, dude. And I, dude, I messaged him because I I sponsored his new play mats. I'm getting three more of his play mats, so I'll have like Commander Knight. I'll have all his art. Um. And, oh, and I asked him, like I sent him a private message on crowdfund and I was like, dude, this is like my favorite art in magic. I would really love it if I get your artist foil because I was one of the first thousand backers. And he said uh -huh. he was giving artist proofs to the first thousand backers. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping he sees that and maybe sends me like a signed copy of angelic pr answered prayers. Sorry. Oh. That'd be great. Um, that would be so awesome. That would be so sick. And it's like a common. Like, I'm hoping he's, like, thinking I'm humble or something like that and sees pity on me. Yeah, be yeah, so yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, like, uh, like, it's like one of those art that he's really proud of, but because it's a common, like, it doesn't get a lot of praise. Yeah, people, you know? people will be, like, always wanting, like, the, 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 the lands he's done and stuff like that. And I'll be just like, can I have answered prayers, Seb? <laughs> the only thing that yeah, the only thing that frustrates me, and it's like the 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 hipster that won't die from twenty fourteen or twenty thirteen, is that every time people open packs with Seb McKinnon art, they're always like this. This is literally every time. Ooh, Seb McKinnon art, <laughs> <laughs> and like all the other great artists must feel so crappy. The other all the other artists in Magic, when they see people opening packs, must feel like hairdressers feel when people criticize like the lockdown the the people that don't want to be locked down. <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> that's all the other artists in magic compared to Seb okay I think it's like at least a $5 card I've pu I've not pulled this but I do have this card already cool card I think that's a decent card Ooh, right. let's, uh, let's, let's go through these polls it's getting late on my end I just looked at the time thanks dude okay Liliana Ishimaru Birds of Paradise. This might be worth something. I don't know if the flip foil is worth anything. Uh, Eternal Witness. I think this is a pretty decent card. Puts down an Ephemerate. Ephemerate's good. Ephemerate's a pool. Skull Clan. Witness. Witness. Asceticism. There's probably cards I'm missing. These are just the ones I know, so. Justice. Bobble. Booble. Michael Booble. Pestilence might be decent. Oh, I missed the black card. I definitely missed the black card in there. For There's Bobble. Nice. I definitely missed that black card um, that I said I'd put in the... Uh, Ristic study. That was the happiest moment, I think, of my opening. Yeah, I think, I think that's your best ball. Is yeah. Ristic study. Yeah. Lightning bolts. Okay. Ristic study. What a beautiful card. Oh, that's great. Such iconic art, too. Oh, yeah, dude. I think that one's pretty good. How much did you say Ishinaru was again? I can't remember. Um, who? Shinaru? The dog, the hound. The oh, Isamaru. Um, five bucks, but right now he's on sale for two bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All is dust. Sl sl sliver. That's a start to a sliver deck in the future. Ashnod's altar. Leaf and kid. That was the other big pull. Yeah. Yeah. That was big. The Slither Hardboard. Man, that's beautiful. That's like, that's, that's the card you need to make a Slither Commander deck. So you got it. Is it better than, is it make indestructible? Yeah, it's probably better than like slight, like Mother, Sliver Mother or something, whatever. Mm -hmm. The other one's more expensive because it's from a more limited set. Dude, can you check one more thing for me? Oh, by the way. Oh, yeah, can you check one more card for me? Yeah. Can you check the foil of Sinew Sliver? Sinew Sliver? The foil of... Oh, bro, all his dust is nine bucks. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, so Sinew Sliver, can you pull up the... Yeah, yeah, I can uh, pull it up, I can pull it up. Sliver, MTG, Goldfish, Sinew. Yeah, dude. 
Uh, it's just 250. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's pretty good. Um, and this is this final card I'm showing is I believe the most expensive uncommon from <laughs> Born of the Gods. There you go. Uh, 